हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई सी अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड मोनोस्टेबल मल्टी वाइब्रेटर यूजिंग ट्रिबल फाइव टाइमर इफ वी से मोनोस्टेबल व्हिच मींस दिस ट्रिबल फाइव टाइमर विल बी हैविंग ओनली वन स्टेबल स्टेट इन दिस मल्टी वाइब्रेटर द आउटपुट विल रिमेन लो and it needs external pulse to make the output high so mono stable multi vibrator is having one stable state here the output will remain low until an external trigger pulse is applied once the external trigger pulse is applied output will move to high state and then the output will revert back to low after some time so which means the output will remain high only for some time period again the output will move to low pulse after some time this is the circuit diagram of mono stable multi vibrator in this circuit diagram we are having two comparators one is non inverting comparator because input is connected to non inverting terminal another one is inverting comparator because input is connected to inverting terminal output of these two comparators are connected to sr flip flop the output of sr flip flop is connected to bjt the collector of bjt is connected to discharge so q is connected to base of the bjt and q bar which is complement of q will give the output so here pin number 6 is input to non inverting comparator and pin number 2 is the input to inverting comparator initially the output will remain low let us apply trigger pulse to pin number 2 of inverting comparator if we apply trigger pulse at pin number 2 for inverting comparator then trigger pulse will be less than 1 by 3 vcc so what we are doing we are applying trigger pulse at pin number 2 this trigger pulse will be less than 1 by 3 vcc which is at another input of inverting comparator so if trigger pulse is less than 1 by 3 vcc output of inverting comparator will be high so output of inverting comparator will be high or 1 if the output of inverting comparator is high that will reset the sr flip flop and q will be equal to 0 so output of sr flip flop q will be 0 and q bar will be 1 since q bar is taken as output the output of sr flip flop will be high for some time since q is equal to 0 the base of bjt will be 0 that's why bjt will turn off now this bjt is acting as open circuit once the bjt is acting as open circuit the capacitor will start charging with voltage vcc now voltage across capacitor will be greater than 2 by 3 vcc if the voltage across capacitor is greater than 2 by c vcc the output of non inverting comparator will be high once the output of non inverting comparator is high it will set the sr flip flop hence q will be equal to 1 so once q is equal to 1 then q bar will be equal to 0 hence the output of triple five timer will move to low state here output will remain high for the period w is equal to 1.1 rc so r is this value which is connected in the circuit and this is the value of c so width of the pulse for which the output will remain high will be equal to w is equal to 1.1 rc now let us summarize this uh, operation initially the output will remain low once we apply the trigger pulse at pin number 2 here this trigger will be less than 1 by 3 vcc that's why output of comparator which is an inverting comparator will be high since the output of inverting comparator is high 
this will reset the output of SR flip flop. So Q will be 0 and Q bar will be 1. So that will make the output to move to high state for some time. Since Q bar is equal to 0, the BJT will turn off and it will act as open circuit. Once the BJT is turned off, all the voltage VCC will appear across the capacitor C and this capacitor will start charging. Now this capacitor voltage will be greater than 2 by 3 VCC. Since VC is greater than 2 by 3 VCC, output of non-inverting comparator will be high. So once the output of non-inverting comparator is high, that will set the output of SR flip-flop. So Q will be equal to 1 and Q bar will be equal to 0 and again the output will move to low state. So that's why here in a monostable multivibrator, the output will always remain low until an external trigger pulse is applied and once the trigger pulse is applied, the output will move to high state for only some time. So that high state period, we can write it as W which is the width of the pulse when output is high that can be given as W is equal to 1.1 R into C. So this is the width of the pulse when output is high. This is about monostable multivibrator. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.